guys, welcome to Home Sitting Through Our Eyes. It is December 3rd. It is our 12th update on our homesteading journey. We were hoping to be able to get the year up this fall and winter, but everything took a little bit longer than we thought it was going to take, and everything was a little bit harder and more detailed than we thought, we had hoped. Um, so we are stopping here with our platform for the winter. Uh, we'll still be coming and getting things done on the nice days. Well, we don't have any snow yet, so that's a good thing. Um, but we are not going to be finishing the platform. We still need to put in the insulation and the plywood topping and finish off around it and make it into a circle. Now we'll probably get that done before the winter's over. But we have the yurt storing in a family member's basement until we're able to finish up the platform and get it put up. Um, this was our first time building anything like this so it did take us a lot longer than we expected it to take just because we had to learn how to do every step of it so we had to learn how to do the concrete footers we had to learn how to put the posts into the concrete footers figure out how to level everything figure out how to cut everything since we don't have electricity back here transport everything um, so I'm, I'm happy we got as far as we got. I think moving into the year for everybody in the spring will be an easier transition as well. We can also see how the winter is here as far as any of these long, tall trees falling down around the year area. And We'll be very prepared for next winter since we already got a lot of the wood split up, stacked right over by where the back door is going to be for the yurt, which is back there. So you can see down here, the yurt's going to be quite a bit above ground level. Which is going to be cool. We're going to be raised up. Eventually we'll add on with a decking around the yurt. Lots of projects to do. Come take a look at the rest of the things we've done in the last month and a half. It is sad to see the garden dead and covered in snow, um, but it's good to have the change in seasons and we should appreciate all the seasons that we do have. Winter time is a time for relaxing and slowing down and learning and researching and planning for the next year. It was a little cold, so we had uh our chicken tractor that we were using through the fall um, and we wanted to give them a better space a warmer space for the winter time so we had a dresser that we did not need had a little tile top counter you can see the dresser so what we did is just got rid of the drawers and we tilted it on its side gave it some legs to do so we 
had collected a free window from down the road. Had a little space here. Just filled that in with an extra board. The legs to it are just spare 4x6s that I had little chunks of laying around. On the inside, this was already with the dresser. Just used a branch and another piece of spare wood to make them perch. And uh, they crawl up in and go all the way in the back and sleep nice and tight at night. So the key to it is cutting down on the airflow. It was probably about 20 degrees Fahrenheit last night, and uh, they just they're just fine. Uh, you just got to make sure that their water doesn't freeze over. You can use vegetable glisten for a little bit, or a heated bowl, or a black rubber bowl it's for the sunlight to melt the ice down back into water, and. Uh, what we do is just center this, throw our chicken tractor right back over it. We just leave this open during the day and let them come in and out as they please and then close them back up at night. We've also used uh, a bunch of wood chips here and every couple of weeks we just come back and spread them on the inside of the chicken tractor. Uh, it'll give them a little extra warmth and also cover up some of the poop and it'll give a good mixture for the springtime we'll be able to come in here and just use these wood chips and poop and all that for compost and for the garden so throughout the summer we just used this trick chicken tractor with the green tarp it was about a little less than halfway up on the side the well is open on this end now the winter come, we wanted to give them a little more secure space. You want to cut down on drafts or they get freezing and they could die. Um, we just used whatever leftover stuff we had around at the property that we were just going to toss out anyway. Uh, an old tablecloth, some burlap cloths, some cardboard. Uh, you can see the glass sliding door, which we also picked up from down the road as well as another window. Just prop those up against the side on the side of the sunlight to allow it to shine through and get them a little heated up in the morning. By sixes are just leaned up against there to not allow the wind to blow the doors over. And we used a few of the drawers in the back just for a little extra wind coverage and insulation. And on the back side, another door that we got from down the road and then on the inside, our chicken coop, which we showed you in the other video. And so far we've had some freezing nights and they've lasted just fine. A lot of people say you need a heater, but this is dangerous and it doesn't allow the chickens to acclimate 